Okay, so we are gonna be trying starting our practice today. We're gonna be doing some painted paper, and then we're gonna work on page 11 in our little art technique workbook, okay? So I'm gonna start off with our paper painting. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write our name and a K, then we're gonna turn it over, okay? So every table will be given a little water cup um, it's basically a dog dish with water and a little sponge um, on one side. And then we're going to be giving a little tray with our paint in it. And then at the end of class, we'll throw away these paper towels and reuse. You'll also get another little um, cup with um, watered down um, white for the snow. So we're going to be doing this in different steps. So we're going to start with the blue background and then I'll paint and then you'll paint. Then we'll do like the little circle shape. I'll paint, then you'll paint, and then we'll do the snow at the end, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating a really smooth um, painting with um, the blue. And then this blue is a little different than my sample, but you'll just take your brush in there and you're gonna paint. Now, one thing I want you to notice is when I paint this, you see these little white areas? That's okay, I'm gonna show you how to fix that and how to smooth it out. But I wanna get most of my paper painted with the blue. So I don't need to have a heaping amount of blue on here, just enough that I'm covering most of the paper. Then a little trick to smoothing it out is dipping it in the water, and then it basically extends the color. And dip it in the water. Now sometimes you just, you still need a little more blue paint, okay? but the water will help in a quick dip. So I'm not holding my brush in there for a long time, just enough so that it is re-wetting my paintbrush, okay? Then you can kind of go over it and smooth it out a little bit more. This time I didn't add any paint on mine. I just am smoothing out what's already existing, okay? And I'm gonna put this brush in there. The next part we're gonna do is like the circle. So we're gonna be making owls next time. So it could be an oval or circle shape. We're just gonna kind of practice what that looks like. So when you're cleaning out your brush, you're gonna swirl it in the water. Notice I'm not splashing, I'm just swirling it in the water. Then you're gonna take it and wipe it on that little sponge. And we're not jabbing it, we're just wiping it. Then I'm gonna go into my paint, into the white, and then I'm gonna paint a shape, just some sort of rounded shape. So I usually outline it and then I paint inside. And you're gonna notice some of this blue shows through and that's actually okay. Okay, so we have that painted. Now my brush is wet, so I'm gonna, and dirty, because I'm gonna use black next. So I'm gonna go to the water, rinse it. Remember, I'm not splashing, just, just like stirring it and then wiping it or drying it off. Now this time I'm gonna kind of use the tip of this and go into my black and I'm gonna kind of outline it. And I want you to notice when I do this, I'm going back into the black each time, I am not going to the water, okay? Because I'm using the same color. The only time you need to go to the water is if you're changing colors. And then you can practice these little swoops for the feathers, because we'll be doing that soon okay and i'm gonna put that brush in there now we're gonna practice the splatter painting so the splatter painting when we do this we're going to be dipping our paintbrush in the paint and then um, tapping it on our finger okay so we get my brush make sure it's cleaned out dried then we're going to go into our paint okay and then you're going to place your finger above not really high pretty close and then you just Tap, tap, tap on your paper. So I'm tapping it on my finger. If I need a little more, dip it in there, tap it on my finger and kind of move my hand and my finger around and that's gonna create really nice snow. We're not actually touching it to the table, okay? And then when you're finished with this, we're gonna take this whole thing over to the counter to dry. Then we're gonna get our book and we're gonna open our art technique book to page 11. And this is some more practice. This is practicing thick and thin brush strokes. And then we're gonna do that wash again, okay? So I'm gonna use blue for this, but if you wanna use the black that's in your tray, 
um, that is totally fine. Okay, let me move this right here so you can kind of see a little bit better. So, clean out my brush, swirling it around, drying it off. And this one is thick, so I'm gonna take the blue, and for thick, I'm gonna use kind of the side of the brush. So it's like a thick line, okay? You could have done squiggles, that's fine. And this one, we're gonna practice thin. So that one, I'm just gonna put it on the edge, and I'm gonna hold up the brush a little bit more so it's a little more upright. Oops, I didn't have enough paint on my brush. And go around this kind of heart shape, okay? And this is just practice, it doesn't have to be perfect. And this last section here, is um, using a little bit of water um, to make the paint kind of extend. So I'm gonna just dip my brush in one time with the paint, just one time, then quick dip to the water and wash. Okay, so you don't need a lot of paint on here. Okay, and if it's not perfectly at the edge, I'm not worried about that. Then we're gonna take this over to the same counter and let it dry. And then you'll be done for today.